everybody, it's Alicia, and I hope you are all having a wonderful day. So, I was asked twice this past week about the AnyPose HUD. Now, you all know that I have been using AnyPose in Second Life for many years. I did a couple of videos about it way back when I first started YouTube. So, I don't mind doing another video about it at all. But I did think it was kind of funny that I was asked twice about it this week after not being asked about it for like ever. So that was kind of funny to me. But yeah, I don't mind showing you guys how I use the AnyPose HUD. Now, let me preface this by saying I don't know everything about this HUD. I don't know everything about AnyPose at all. I know how I use it and what I like to use it for. So I don't mind showing you guys how I use it and maybe you can use that as a starting point to find your way into using this as well. If you don't know what any pose is, it is a little system that can help you create your own poses or you can mod some poses. And I shamelessly mod almost every single pose that I use for my blog photos because I like poses to fit me. And sometimes when you're posing, it doesn't always fit you. Sometimes it's your head wants to go a certain way or you want to move your arm out of your leg or something like that. So I find that that is what this is used best for, but you can create a whole new pose from scratch too as if you want to do that. I've done that. I sell some of them on Marketplace. They're very, very old at this point. Um, but you know, sometimes that's all you need is like a starting point and then you can mod it yourself and any pose is a great way to do that. So any pose was created by Fate Shepherd, who is really nice, by the way. And you can get the any pose basic pose stand for fifteen hundred linden on Marketplace. They also have an in-world store, but you can just go to Marketplace as well. Um, and you get the pose stand and the HUD for your any pose. Um, what I have is the deluxe version. And the deluxe version includes the animator if you wanted to make some animated stands or something like that. Like, I don't think you could do it, use it for to create an entire dance. <laughs> I mean, you could if you wanted to, if you wanted to give that a try. But the animator kind of gives you, like if you wanted to have a stand where you were breathing or swaying back and forth or something like that, you could use the animator for that. Personally, I don't use the animator. Um, I got the deluxe version because it was a gift to me. So <laughs> that's why I have it. But if you're not interested in animating, go for the $1,500 basic pose. You can pay 3000 later to get the animator if you want it. But I would, if you're just looking to, you know, create some poses or mod some poses, just go for the basic stand. And when you get your any pose, then you unpack it. It's got the HUD. And if you get the animator version, then it also has a HUD in it. But we're just using this, the BVH HUD. BVH is the, um, is the file basically for a pose in Second Life. So if you were ever going to create a pose outside of Second Life using Blender or whatever pose makers are out there these days, then you would save it to a BVH file. Okay, let's go over the HUD very quickly here. There's only a few buttons that I use that I find to be the most important for what I use this for. Maybe you will find that you use other buttons more and you can find that out on your own just by playing around with the HUD. Honestly, learning how to just like click on things and play around and see what happens that's the fun of this whole thing so the biggest one of course is the body and this kind of shows you everything that you can move with the any pose be sure you take your ankle lock off if you're gonna do it and uh for your feet otherwise your feet won't move i have ankle lock on probably 99 percent of the time um, so I always have to remember to turn that off if I am going to be using this. These buttons over here, the big arrows, that is what's going to actually move your joints. So you just click on those and you click, click, click. This whole HUD is just about clicking. These arrows here are for if you are on the 
pose stand and it'll move you back and forth or diagonal or rotate you around side to side back and forth all that stuff but those are only good if you are using the pose stand if you decide that you are done with the pose or you don't like the pose or you want to scrap the pose or whatever reset pose very important <laughs> it'll take you back to the default stand um okay so here we have live and then we have all these numbers live is good if you are in a pose or you're just standing there or whatever and you want to go ahead and start moving your joints around like if you're out on location and you can't res a pose stand but you have your pose that you want to use and you need to mod it that's what you would use the live button for so like if i pull up this pose from fox city one of my favorite pose stores i have that there and i decide oh you know what would be great if i could move my right arm i would click on live then i would click here for my right arm and then i would just start clicking these uh these buttons so i'd move it like that and then maybe i wanted to move my forearm in like that and i'm like yay that looks great i take my picture and then I think, mm, no, you know what? I don't like it. <laughs> I just want the regular pose, but I don't want to move because I've got my shot framed. Reset pose, default, there you go. Perfect. Now, if you are at home like I am and you want to use the pose stand because maybe you want to create a pose from scratch or you want to use the pose like if I'm going to use my Fox City pose, but I want to make sure that I don't move or anything like that, you're going to be able to res out a pose stand. Now, you're also going to be able to res out several pose stands. So if you have a friend with you, a family or whatever, res out a bunch of pose stands and then you can control everybody. So you would click on a number and then you would click on res and you see there the pose stand popped right up. And let's go ahead and stand on the pose. Let me turn my AO off. And then you can, I mean, just like any other pose stand, you just <laughs> move it around wherever you want to do it. Okay, so if you were going to have other people, like if you had pose two, three, four, or whatever, um, you would always just make sure to click on those numbers when you are moving them around. And this is a very easy way to make like a couple's pose or a family pose, uh, as long as everybody is willing to just stand there <laughs> while you click for ages and uh, make your poses. Okay, so like if I wanted to do this again, I could do that and then I could move my leg or whatever. And I could use that pose with this and do that. But sometimes you want to create a pose that is all yours. So you would just start clicking. So let's pull that in. Maybe we want that that way and we want this this way. And again, it is just clicking. The HUD itself is not... It's not that hard to learn to use, um, especially if you're like me and you don't need it for like a lot of crazy things. <laughs> I'm just modding poses out here. Now I do have some poses, of course, on the marketplace that I have made. Um, I used to make a lot of like couples poses and stuff because the person I was with at the time was a lot taller than me. And as you guys know, sometimes poses just don't fit. So we'll do that. We'll do this. We'll click on our head like that. And oh, look, we're super cute. We're super, super cute. So let's say you do this and you love the pose. You think it is just like the best pose ever. You want to save it so that you can always have it or you want to sell it. That is when you would click on save BVH. And when you do that, this pop-up will come and it'll have this web page to click on and you would go there. Now, as you can see, it'll take you right here to the animation download page. Now you can go ahead and set your 
your hands too if you want to. Um, I hardly ever use the hand poser in any pose um, simply because I use whatever is just in the, uh, the HUD for my body. But if you want to, you can use one of these poses and you can uh, set for right and left hand. I'm not doing that. And then you have the file name. So I'm just going to call that my pose one dot bvh and you would download it from stand one or stand two or whatever stand that you have and then once you've downloaded it you come back into second life you go into build and you go into upload and you're going to upload it as an animation so this box comes up when you want to do that so you got the name of it and you can put a description if you want to you can do a priority now, this is going to be, as you can see here, controls which other animations can be overridden by this animation. The higher the priority, the less you would be able to um, move it around or have it... Um, like, if you have another... like, If you're going to be in a pose and then you wanted to hold something that has an animation in it, then you wouldn't want the priority super high because you want to be sure that your the body can move along with the... Um, with the other animation but if you know that it is static you don't want to move at all then you would set the priority as high as you can we're going to leave it a priority too because who cares <laughs> and then make sure that you have it on a loop you're going to want it on a loop otherwise you're going to fall right out of the pose <laughs> so you can see here we can play the animation and we have it on a loop because that is necessary um you can see everything else here is what I've got. So we were just we're previewing. So as you can see, I'm kind of moving back and forth here with this pose because of the priority. See, once I have it at four, I don't move at all. That is like static. So we're going to go to three. And then we're going to upload it for 10 Linden. And that way, if we are ever out somewhere else or we want to take a picture somewhere else and we don't, we're not able to res our pose stand and we want that particular pose again, boom! Yeah, we got it. Look at us go. And that is how you would save your pose with any pose. Now, one more thing to show you guys are these little dots. So let's say you are making your pose and you're like, mm, you know, I don't like it being on my right leg. I want my left leg to look like that. Boop. You do that. <laughs> and you just click on the little dots and it'll move back and forth. And that is a good way also to make mirrored poses. If you wanted to make a mirrored pose, like let's say we like it like this and then, or actually let me show you guys this. So we were like this. Go over here to these that look blurred. Boop. Mirrored poses. <laughs> there you go. Very simple. And then these dots, these single dots, are if you want uh, both to be the same. So like if we wanted our right arm to look like our left, our, our left arm to look like our right arm, we would click on the right side here. And there we go. Very, very simple but it takes a little bit of just remembering what the dots do i kind of forget what they do sometimes so i'm just clicking around like crazy but again clicking around is the fun of any pose this isn't really about the hud but after you have created your poses like say you have a couple's pose or a group pose and you want to put them in pose balls because you want to sell them or you want to just keep them so that you can use them again at another time you would create an object, a ball, a box. You can see here, minor boxes. And all you would have to do is drop in your pose that you created and that you uploaded, like I showed you. And then you would need a pose ball script. Uh, the pose ball script is pretty important because it kind of tells your body what to do when it gets on top of this prim or whatever it is that you're using. You can use anything, but you know, it's cheaper to use a prim that's free. So you can see I have my pose ball script in there and then there is that. And then if I had somebody with me, they would stand behind me in the pose. 
Um, when you do this, of course, you're going to have to adjust again once you get it together, like once you put it in world, because the couple's pose that you create, um, each pose has to be uploaded individually, and then you would just have to put them there and then adjust again to make sure that they look the way that you want them to look. But I think we're all pretty good at editing at this point in Second Life, um, especially like just moving stuff around. So that shouldn't be a problem. And then you have a pose forever. So that is how I use any pose in Second Life. I hope that this was helpful for you. If you have questions, please feel free to ask me. I don't promise to know everything about this, but I'm pretty sure together we can find out the answers. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. And I think that's it. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please go do something nice for yourself because self-care is super important and you're absolutely worth it. And I'll see you guys next time.